Hey, it's Dorleen. Welcome to my channel. It is December 2023 and I'm starting my 12 days of Christmas tag series that I've done for the last few years. Now I'm going to have a link to my blog in the information box. And so if you want to look at these or any of my um, tags for this year or previous years, just check on the label for uh, Christmas, 12 days of Christmas tag series. So I'm using a stencil set called Christmas Florals from Close to My Heart and this is the first time I've used it although I've had them for some time. I just grabbed some cranberry ink and um, green and also a brown and basically the stencils are like card size so um, it would fit I'd have to do this four times in order to fill a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper now um, the paper that I use so originally I was just going to do it on plain white cardstock and then I went through my kind of like junk papers and I don't even know where I've got this paper full of like Christmas and winter and holiday um, words but I grabbed that and decided to stencil over the top of this and I'm telling you I love it so these stencils are a three-part stencil which um, I'm in love with these stencils <laughs> so the first one was obviously the petals of the poinsettia flowers and now I'm doing the greenery which are the um, stems and also the leaves and then the third stencil I'll use a brown and that is for um, like the veins of the leaves and the flowers, things like that. Now, when I pulled my inks, I have a variety of inks and you can see that I have a close to my heart one. I have a stamping up one. And this one right here is a very old Heidi Swap one. Well, it was still juicy. So I thought, okay, it works fine. But you can kind of see here when I'm putting the ink on the stencil or on the plastic, how it's really darkening up. Well, normally you just wipe it off, right? This ink would not come off and even was a little sticky. So I'm pretty sure it's because this ink is just so old. So I did toss it when I was done. But um, what I'm showing you is just when I complete that bottom half and then I'm going to do the top half um, off camera. So you don't need to see me do the exact same thing four times. But basically I covered the sheet of paper. Now, um, like I mentioned before, this is the very first tag of my 12 days of Christmas tag series. And so um, what I decided to do was um, I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush right now of that brown to kind of antique it if you want to call it that and it really does give it such a pretty look I mean look at that oh so gorgeous with those words in the background and I do like it better than less like stark stark white but um, once I stencil the whole thing I did clean off the stencils like I said that brown did not come off but it doesn't really affect the stencil so I'm fine with it um, and then the what I used the red when you saw me uh, when I cleaned it off it was a pink kind of hue so again it doesn't really make any difference on the stencil and it is actually clean even though they don't look clean so I grabbed a gold glitter marker and I'm just kind of plopping some um, splatter all over and just gold met metallic and also in the middle of the flowers but um, this is so 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 pretty so I have these tags they're just blank tags that I've had in my stash and um, I decided that the strips of the stenciled paper were going to be two inches um, wide and it's a little bit less than three and a half inches um, long but whatever's in excess I just end up cutting um, you know like with scissors but um, I usually make like a set of six t t tags times 12 because I have 12 different tags every day right or one tag a day so I have six sets at the end of it because I use tags for my own um, Christmas gifts. Matter of fact, um, just a little tip, because most of the presents were gifting the same people, um, we reuse tags because some of mine are just, they're so adorable. I don't want to just use them one year and throw them away. So we'll reuse them um, because like, you know, mom to, I'll just say son, you know, those get reused um, until they're just they're just too battered and then we'll throw them out but anyhow so it's not a lot of hard work for nothing in case you're wondering um, so those red pieces of paper I just cut them up they're approximately half an inch um, width and they're half an inch by three because that was the scrap paper I had and then I stamp um, to and from on them and I do a fishtail banner on one end which you'll see me do right now um, I was going to start to curl them and then I realized I should do that fishtail before I curled them. But I just do that by slitting it up the middle and then um, 
slicing up towards that middle slit from both ends. I hope that makes sense the way I said it. But again, I just stamped to and from. And then I'm going to just use a pen. I think I end up using like a chopstick to curl the edges of the fishtail banner. And then I just glued it with the glue stick on the tag. These are actually really simple, but they are so pretty. I just absolutely love them and I hope you do too. So one of the things that I do for this tag series is if you leave a comment here on my YouTube and or on my blog, I also on Instagram and all that information, like I said, will be in the information box. But if you leave a comment at the end of the series, anybody who comments, um, I put their name in a raffle. And so if you comment every day, even if it's at the three different um, social media um, um, outlets, I guess. I don't, I'm not even sure what to call that. But um, you would can technically get three different um, entries so you can win the raffle, which at the end of the series, like I said, the winner will get one of each of the 12 tags. So basically one set of 12 tags. And um, they are really fun. And I'll just ship them to you free, no cost. Um, but um, I do hope you like this. And if you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell so you'll be notified of every video. But again, this is the first day of my 12 days of Christmas tags series. So I will post either a YouTube video and always a blog post, an Instagram post um, for the next 12 days. And I hope you decide to check them all out. Aren't they so pretty? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.